Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of the Blockception server. We are in the minecart station right now. As you can see there's been some changes. I took these dispensers off the wall because the resupply room serves the purpose they were going to originally. And I also finally actually made this hole look decent. I'm going to put a cool lamp pattern on the side with the uh, way you get down. So it'll like flash as you come down. It should look pretty cool. And then I'll have uh, maybe some floating water right here, actually. Not sure how I'm going to do that exactly. But this is not what we are working on today. This was originally going to be the subject of the episode, but the footage turned out like crap. So, oh, and I forgot I put a minecart in there. Yep. There we go. Uh, let's just get going again. But yeah, this is not the subject of the episode today. Uh, first thing I want to talk about a little bit is the SRP project, which has a double meaning. It is both spawn and surface restoration projects. Uh, I'm going to take on cleaning up my surface area, like where the mob system is. I want to make all that area look nice because I do want to. I decided I want to build some stuff up there, and I think that would be pretty cool to build some above ground stuff as well. I also want to build some kind of cool markers in the sky to mark out areas underground so I can use maps to navigate, which I think would be an awesome feature in my base. And the other part is restoring spawn, cleaning up some crap that doesn't need to be there. Nope. Oh crap, no arrows. Ah, oh, god, I, I've been having mob issues in here. It's just because I've got so much lit up. Let's put a torch there for now. That should cause solve that problem. But yeah, I uh, did some remodeling in general. I don't like how this turned out at all. That's a lot of drops. I like that. That makes me happy. Almost got another chest of powder already. I've been getting a lot of good drop rates today. I don't know. The rates are really inconsistent on this thing. I'm probably going to hook it up to uh, a nether portal soon so I can send all the mobs into the nether. Because I think that would turn that would probably be a very effective XP farm, just like a passive one. Because I could just hang around my base, and when I want to kill them all, I can go there. It takes like six potions to kill them. But that's okay. That's fine. And here we are in my village. I went ahead and transferred some villagers over here. I need to turn my sound down. Yeah, I went ahead and transferred some villagers and did a little bit of trading. Got a couple chainmail helmets from uh, one of these guys, wherever he is, I don't know where he is. But yeah, I want to do some stuff with these guys today, that's the whole plan for this episode. Mainly, I want to move them probably over to that section of the ravine while I work on actually constructing this section to look pretty cool. But for now, I've just got some temporary vents here. You can see there's holes. Those let sunlight in, which is required for doors in a village. So I've got sunlight coming in through here. I've just got some bars keeping the villagers from leaving. I haven't had any issues with mobs in here yet. Although, I'm wondering, can I kill these guys off without uh, the other scene? I think I'll go get some a bow and arrow and then try to assassinate one of them and see if that works. Because if I could just pick them off easily, that would be cool. Because then I wouldn't have to design some kind of system. Although I probably will at some point. Oh my god, that's a lot of mobs. Look, 29 more powder already. Gunpowder is a wonderful thing. Gonna make more TNT soon. I'm probably gonna have a double chest relatively soon. And this bow's in the wrong spot on my hotbar. It's killing me. Uh, Alright, who don't we want here? Is that the shears guy? The shears guy can die in a fire. Now this is the shears and bread guy. He's at least valuable. This guy can just die. So let's uh... I want to get somewhere they can't see me so well. Let's go over there. And I'm probably going to fall. Nope. And is that him? I don't think that's him. Crap. I don't know who I'm assassinating. That's bad. Nope. That would be the shears and bread guy. Is this the shears guy? Yep. This is the shears guy. So let's keep an eye on him, make sure he doesn't escape or anything, and pick him off. Ah oh man, that's bad. 
Are the other villagers going to get mad at me for that? Am I going to lose trades? Nope, doesn't look like it. Looks like their trades are still going to work just fine. Alright, well that's good because now they will breed and they will make me more... I want to kill that guy as well in that case. So let's just... Fire! Good. So we got a couple villagers that will breed now. Like, look, he's already he's already being proactive. I like you. But yeah, that's just my little village setup I have right now. I want to clean up this ravine a lot more and make it look real nice. Smooth out the walls a lot. And I'm what I was thinking was sort of uh, there's some caves behind these walls that I've blocked off. I was thinking I would make those into like sort of an upper class town type thing. And then down here have more like a suburb, smaller apartment type houses. And possibly make a filtering system so I can send the uh, priests and like librarians up top while keeping the like farmers down here. But yeah, that was just my idea. I was going to have like bridges branching across the ravine in here, which I think would look really cool. And then down here have like smaller houses that s supply. I don't really want to do a lot of breeding here. I'm not going to worry about that. I'll just have toggleable breeding stations is my plan. Where I can just flip a lever and they'll infinite breed. But anyway, yeah, that's my current plan for the village. So I am going to get working on uh, smoothing out the ravine a little bit. And I'll be back with you. Okay, guys. So I've been playing around with the ravine a little bit. Uh, some things I figured out here. First of all, I threw in some vines here just to see how they looked. Can't really tell yet, though, because they haven't grown out. They're just sort of sitting around. Uh, I got a priest down there who sells glowstone. And looks like I just got another butcher. So villagers are still breeding quite a bit. Uh, I was thinking right here I would have some kind of bridge across these two edges and I've TNT'd out an area over here although there was a slight misfire over here so I ended up blowing up stuff I didn't want to blow up and over there I'm gonna have a little house area over here probably gonna dig out a bit more in these directions all around I just sorta of wanna have this be the upper area of the village more and I'll have a uh, access way down from there's somehow probably a series of tunnels, not really sure. I just kind of want to have a way to access these two villages, but I might keep them separate and use a villager sorter system to sort out the higher class ones up here. Not really sure exactly, but by the way, when I say villager sorter, I'm saying manually decide which way the villagers go, like with an infinite breeder. I'm not saying automatic villager sorting because I don't think that's possible. But anyway, this is just my idea at the moment. I'm really having some issues getting some inspiration on this. Not really sure exactly what I want to do with it. But I'm going to play around with it a bit more, see what I like. I know I'm most likely going to cut the ravine wall off, like right down here. I'm just going to put smooth stone. And possibly throw in like a... Uh, some kind of toggleable breeder, like an infinite breeder right behind that stone wall that I can activate. Because I don't really... See, that's what that bridge looks like from a distance. I definitely want to change that up quite a bit. But I think it'll look really cool to have like hanging bridges going across here, like a few of them. But yeah, I was thinking like an infinite breeder or something right here that I can just flip on and off by having a minecart villager go up and down. It's a Doc's idea, by the way. But I think that would be a pretty cool thing to have. Just flip that and villagers breed away instead of having to have all the doors. So that's probably what I'm going to do. Because I don't really need all that space. Chainmail. Don't really need all of that extra space there. And that swamp grass is down there. I will probably change this ground though because I don't like it. So not sure what I'll do with that. I'll also play around with that. Anyway, that's all for now. And I'll be back with you in a bit. Hey guys, I've been doing a little bit of work here. Uh, this is looking a little bit better. I decided not to go with the double leveled type design. I decided I don't really need to put that much time or anything into this village because it's not going to be a huge project or anything. Uh, I removed some of the doors from here because I'm going to have the infinite breeder right here 
And I, what I've been doing is turning the walls into stone brick, and I'll be using some of this cracked and mossy to change it up a little bit. And then I'll replant the vines on it. Here I've got this. This will most likely change, because now I'm using stone brick here, or I need to find some way to transition it. Uh, how I did this roof here was I actually planted a bunch of single jungle trees until I got an effect I liked, and I cut all the wood, and I placed some random logs here to kind of get that cool effect. And you can kind of see that if I can actually make it up somehow. Uh, I'm stuck in a wall. Excellent. Uh, yeah, here we go. So you can see up here, that's the room we were going to use, but we're not going to anymore. And you can see we've got the leaf canopy here. It's pretty obvious that it was made of trees. So, yeah, that's just quick progress update on the village I am going to finish up making it all stone brick and everything and we're gonna get to work on some of the more technical aspects of it so I'll see you then oh also uh... actually before I go why is it that this one door is considered the only door left in existence I'm not I think it might be the only one still exposed to direct sunlight or something no, this one's got sunlight. They just seem to really like that one door. It's really bugging me. There's like 50 villagers in there. I'll be uh, making these rooms actually have purposes and be bigger, so... Hopefully they stop doing that. But for now, they're stuck like that. So anyway, I'm going to go work on this some more, and I'll see you in a bit. Alright guys, so I finished covering the walls with stone brick for the most part, except for this area. I ended up pushing this back once to make these paths look a little better. And I'm repaving the roads right now. I'm going to put this stone slabs right here. Probably put cobble off to the sides and then stone brick on the outsides to transition into the walls. And it's just going to cut off right here probably for the uh, infinite breeder. Not going to be too big of a village. I just want an area where I can trade mainly. I don't really care that much about how it looks and all that but I just wanted to look kind of decent over here I've just got double iron doors so they can't escape through them and I'll probably do something else with this path going down here I definitely gotta put the walls in but yeah it's just gonna come down here and then there's gonna be the cool pathways probably have like blacksmith farms here like uh, just a small wheat farm or something to show just kind of little villager buildings maybe do like some kind of a uh, town type building right here uh, like a small church or something here a library just kind of little areas to represent each type of villager nothing too major just some small ideas not really too sure about this place in general. I'm just kind of throwing things together as I feel like it. Don't really have any big set ideas for this. and It's probably not going to turn out great, but I don't really mind that much. Because I probably won't be coming here that much anyway. But anyway, I'm going to finish up repaving all these paths. I'm going to finish this wall, put vines on the walls. And then I'll be back with you, and hopefully next time I come back, uh... We'll be able to start working on the technical stuff. Okay guys, so I was messing with the redstone a little bit. And after I failed to get infinite breeding working multiple times, like many, many times. Uh, so I decided I'm probably just going to go with the many, many doors approach and put vines over them to kind of hide them a little bit. Uh, still not getting any breeding at the moment. Gotta see exactly what's causing that. Um... But yeah, this is the main approach I'm going to go with. I'm not going to bother making this too fancy or anything. It'll just be running here. It's just like kind of a center with a bunch of villagers. I can manually kill them if I want them dead. Who is opening and closing that damn door? Oh my god. Is there is there a problem? Jesus. Get out of the way. Thank you. Jesus. I have to put buttons on these stupid doors just so they don't do that anymore because that gets really annoying. But anyway, I'm just going to probably leave it like this for now. At least I don't want to work on the same more today because I really want to get this episode 
ready to go and uploaded for tomorrow, which is the 13th. So if it's not out on the 13th, I have failed. What? Is, what? Why the hell is there water dripping? Is that because the rain? All right. Okay. Whatever. But yeah, I just basically set this up, and that's all we're gonna be doing on the village today. I do want to do a little bit more today, but I'm not quite sure what. You know, I think what I'll do is, uh, I'm going to do some little stuff around spawn to work on it a bit. And I will do a little montage of that. So, I'll show you that little montage. And then I will cut back in for a conclusion, and that will be the end of this episode. So, I will see you then. Hey guys, so I'm over here with, uh, Effects, who I'm pretty sure is AFK right now. But, uh, I just wanted to point out that I'm doing some demolition with him at the moment. He wanted to come along. So, I'll just mark off really quick what I'm going to be destroying. Uh, Chris's place over here, because Chris is no longer on the server. And this place looks like a heaping pile of garbage. Not to offend anyone. Um, up on the hill if my world ever decides to load. Well, that obviously is going to come down. That's going to be the biggest project, I think. Uh, Bryant's little house-turned-flower garden up there is going to be gone. Whatever the hell that giant dirt penis is. Uh, out there, all that can go. Yeah, a lot of stuff, and... Out this way, there's Chris's building also, his giant castle. That's going to go, and all of this is going to go, all these sheep farms, because Teddy never finished them. So yeah, I'm just going to tear all this down, and enter in montage mode. Wait, wait, before montage mode, a couple things I forgot. Uh, this sand gen is also going to go, and right around the back of here... Uh, the dirt staircase that goes up the com community chest, I'm going to take that out. Might replace it with just like a access ladder, but yeah. So that's the plan, and entering montage mode for real now.
guys, so I'm going to end off the episode here, just because I do want to do some other stuff tonight, and I've still got to edit, which is a pain. So yeah, I've still got to do some editing and some other things, so I'm just going to cut it off right here. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed that, there will be more blowing stuff up, but it'll most likely be unrecorded. And, uh, let's see how this turns out. There's a little, uh, Jurgen's box here. He logged out and effects built him a trap, but then a creeper, or a, uh, zombie spawned it and set it off. So I fixed it for him. So let's see if, uh, he catches a Jurgen's, because he is recording at the moment. I'm tempted to troll him just by, like, obsidian boxing him while he's there. But that would be mean. So yeah, I'm just going to leave him on his little tower of recording this. And, yeah, that is all. That is the end of this episode, and until next time, see ya.